Hi, everyone. I'm Katie, and I'm here to be your moderator. Yeah, good luck, Katie, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to bust out the peanut butter and Oreos. Because the cast of The Parent Trap just reunited for the first time since filming the 1998 movie, and they're spilling all the tea. This is so freaky. On Monday, director Nancy Myers, writer Charles Shire, and the stars of the hit flick, Dennis Quaid, Lindsay Lohan, Elaine Hendricks, Lisa Ann Walter, and Simon Coons all got together for a special on Katie Couric's Instagram. And you best believe they dished some behind the scenes secrets. We, we narrowed it down how many, Nancy? Like six, did we test six girls? Was it that? <laughs> Six, yeah. I think Lindsay might have been the second or third girl up. Within two or three minutes, we both knew she had the part. You couldn't beat her. She was just amazing. Yeah, Lindsay, who played twins Annie and Hallie in the Disney reboot, napped the part within minutes of her audition. Putting aside how adorable she looked, you know, she had that quality that just sort of leapt up at you and pulled you in. And I think to be a movie star and to be the lead of a movie, you need to have that connection with the camera that's very present. As for Lindsay, she shared the secret key to playing the two roles. Go on, just do it. Don't panic. You look great. Spoiler alert, it's all about the hair. Once you put a wig on someone, yeah. you feel different. It's a different, you're, you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you kind of become the other character. And, and, and I feel like almost people treated me differently when I was Annie, because Annie was so much nicer and Hallie was kind of like me. Did it get confusing playing your twin? Um, not really. It was, I kind of kept them straight, but it was a lot of fun. The cast also remembered their co-star, the late Natasha Richardson. It is very romantic. Well, I just think, you know, finally the story is boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl, but the, the kids are the catalyst. So it's, um, it's a more romantic take than, on it than the original. The actress died in 2009 after suffering a traumatic brain injury while skiing. Natasha had such an elegance and grace and she was so maternal to me. Dennis, who played Natasha's ex-husband in the film, got emotional reflecting on his friend. Just somebody so giving uh, and uh, so glad to be there and, and transmitted that joy of being able to do what we do. And, uh, and uh, it, it just made everything that much better. It was a great group of people, particularly for me, Dennis Quaid, who, who I did most of my scenes with and I love working with him. The cast and crew also weighed in on why they think the movie still resonates over two decades later. This movie had the fantasy of getting your parents back together. You know, and so many people, so many kids come from broken homes. I did, and, and I think it fulfilled that dream for kids. And for Lindsay, who's now 34 years old, the parent trap put her on the map when she was just 11. I didn't feel like I was working. It just felt like a really incredible learning experience for me, um, and a lot of fun. And, and I, I, my parents were kind of separating at the time when this was all going on. And, and it made it a lot easier for me to, to play these characters that were figuring it out. I just felt so lucky and really blessed by Nancy and Charles. Like, I can't, there's nothing without this movie. Without this, I wouldn't have gotten that acting bug. How do you not want to only act for the rest of your life after doing a film like this. And that echoes what little Lindsay told E.T. back in 1998. What was the best thing about making this movie? Um, just being able to be there. I mean, when I was younger, I would like sit down and pray every night so that I could be in a movie and it's finally come true. 